Hello everybody, I am Dr. Pallavi Aga. I am a doctor, I am a lifestyle consultant and I am also a fitness enthusiast. Today is the World Pilates Day and I wanted to talk a little about Pilates. Not many people have know about Pilates and they have not understood the benefits of Pilates even though it's one of the best, best workouts that you can do. What exactly is Pilates? Pilates is a form of workout where we do slow controlled movements. Because the movements are slow and controlled, the muscles get toned, the muscles build up endurance. It's not an HIIT workout, we do not really start sweating but the muscles really start burning, a lot of lactic acid is produced and it's very good not only to build tone and muscles, it's also very good as a part of physiotherapy and to basically train a particular set of muscles. So let us do some short Pilates workouts today to understand how exactly Pilates works. I'll just start with some very slow warm-ups. So we can do with our side stretching seated in this seated position. We will lift our hand. Slow stretch. Keep a smile on your face. Keep breathing. The good thing about Pilates is that actually you can keep smiling. You can just do, most of the Pilates is always on a mat, so there's no need for you to get away from your mat. You could then just do a little bit of torso twist. Some neck stretches. And we could then do a little amount, a bit of the child's pose, so stretch your lower back. Then with, for warming up the back, we can do the cat and cow. Draw in your belly button and arch your back. Arch it in the opposite direction. From here we will move into our basic Pilates workout. Mm -hmm. And today we will be focusing on our lower, on our legs and on the core because Pilates is extremely good for the legs and for the core. So now you have to remember that they have to be very slow controlled. Lift both your legs to 90 degrees and slowly toe tap them to the floor. Lift 90 degrees. Remember, do not get your knees ahead of your of your hips because then the lower core or the lower ab pressure will reduce. Right? So, this is both for the quads and for the lower abs. So, you can repeat all of them 10 times. Keep your belly button tucked in. Do not let the small of your back rise up. Keep it absolutely stuck to your mat. So that's your 10. Then we can lift our legs 
keep your legs straight, lower one leg. Automatically lower one after the other. Mm -hmm. Try to keep your leg as straight as possible. So control. Raise and lower both your legs. If you want to keep it on the floor, you can keep it on the floor for the beginners. And for the advanced people, you can hover it above the floor. You will feel the lactic acid burn. You can increase the amount of reps when you do it at home. Then, then coming to your uh, side, so lie down on your side, again slow, this is for your side leg. Once done with 10, then change. Done with 10 and change again. You can make slow circles. Five clockwise, five anti clockwise. And then bend the knee and make circles like this. for your uh, inner thigh, put your upper leg like this in front and raise your lower leg. Keep your toes pointed, keep a smile on your face. These are slow control movements. You feel the lactic acid burn. You may feel a bit of soreness tomorrow. Mm -hmm. After the workout, hydrate yourself well. Have lots of water. Put Himalayan pink salt and lemon in your water and have flush out all the lactic acid have a good protein high meal and you'll be fresh and fine ready to go tomorrow maybe some amount of lingering soreness will be there but 
So now coming to the clam shells. The clam shell workout is very important because it targets the gluteus medius, which is a very small muscle in our in our butt, and this is very important for runners. Most of the runners face a lot of hip pain, butt pain because of uh, the fact that our gluteus medius is not strong. So this is how this is the position at the right angle. You will. Raise your leg. You will keep your feet together. You will feel a stretch in your gluteus medius. Focus on that. Contract the gluteus medius. Come down. You can use the resistance band as well. In this workout, the clam shell only the gluteus medius is targeted. There is no other muscle which is targeted. You will feel a strong contraction of your gluteus medius in your butt. So now we are done with this side and we will switch sides. So same, same workouts, count of 10. The slower you go, the better they will be. I am still going a little faster because I have time constraints. Mm -hmm. But please go as slow as possible when you do these at home. It's almost like meditation. Five block, five anti blockers. Again, go go as slow as possible. circles mm -hmm. these are for your side muscles and for your hamstrings for your inner thigh Back muscles. Get down on your force. Do ten reps on both sides. I'm doing five. 
Kaz. These are two belt strengthening groups. is the bridge. Coming back to your reclined pose. Tucking your toes as close to your hips and rise. Squeeze your glutes together. Good. Out, so my dog decided to join me for Pilates. <laughs> she loves coming in when I'm doing my workouts. It's important to squeeze your glutes at the top. Now for the unilateral. Hello 
everybody. I am Dr. Pallavi Aga. I am a doctor and I am a lifestyle consultant. Aye, hum aaj protein ke baare mein baat karte hain. The myths and the truths about protein. Protein is something jiske baare mein bahut discussion ho chuka hai. Kuch log protein ke ke faide jaante hain aur kuch log protein se bahut zada darte hain. Especially because protein ke baare mein ye bahut myths phailaye gaye hain ki excess of protein se uric acid badh jata hai. एक्सेस ऑफ प्रोटीन से किडनी फेलियर हो जाता है एक्सेस ऑफ प्रोटीन से हमारे को प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है हमारी हेल्थ को लेके ऑल दीज मिथ्स आर कंप्लीटली रॉन्ग सो वाई इज प्रोटीन इंपॉर्टेंट देर इज अ स्मॉल चेक लिस्ट विच आई वुड ऑल ऑफ यू वुड कैन नोट डाउन फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो गो थ्रू द चेक लिस्ट एंड इफ मोस्ट ऑफ दिस चेक लिस्ट इज चेक देन इट गोज टू शो दैट यू आर हाईली प्रोटीन डेफिशियंट नंबर वन लो इम्यूनिटी Number two, you tend to fall sick very easily. Number three, joint aches and pains. Number four, for those who are into uh, workouts, exercise, you tend to get a lot of injuries. And if you are getting injuries, the injuries don't heal well. For example, a frozen shoulder or a back pain or a knee pain or an ankle pain. Number five, you are not sleeping well. Number six, you are having a lot of cravings. Number uh, seven, you are having a lot of cramps, skin issues, and hair fall. Number nine, you are having inability to lose weight, especially in the menopausal and the perimenopausal women. And number nine, you are storing a lot of belly fat. अगर इनमें से कोई भी आप इनमें से maximum points आपने tick mark करें, yes check करें, then you are having a lot of protein deficiency. Amount of protein that is important in the body is at least one point two to one point six gram per the ideal body weight. Not for those people who are looking into weight loss, but the ideal body weight according to your height. That is the amount of protein you should take one point two to one point six gram per ideal body weight. That is mandatory. Kidney failure. एक्सेस प्रोटीन खाने से उन लोगों को जरूर होती है जो प्रोटीन के साथ दे आर टेकिंग लॉट ऑफ प्री वर्कआउट वर्कआउट ऑल ऑफ दीज कॉकटेल्स मिक्स्ड विद विदर दे प्रोटीन दे आर हैविंग एंड दे आर एडिंग अ लॉट ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स टू ब्रिंग अबाउट द मसल गेन दोज आर द पीपल हु अल्टीमेटली लैंड अप इन अ लॉट ऑफ किडनी इश्यूज यूरिक एसिड इज नॉट एट ऑल हैज नथिंग टू डू विद प्रोटीन If you are having a high uric acid, cut down on your carbohydrates and totally cut down on fruit. It's the high level of fructose and it's the high level of carbs in your diet which leads to a high uric acid in combination with a protein diet, right? Now it comes to what are the good quality sources of protein? Of course, in non-vegetarians, it's non-veg and it's eggs. In vegetarians, it's uh, it's eggs again it's paneer it's uh, your curd and even to a certain extent your milk so these are the good call, uh, sources of protein and you have to definitely look into it that you are eating the mandatory amount of protein which is required by your body in case aapka protein uh, sufficient nahi ho pa raha especially in vegetarians please add a good quality whey protein supplement to your diet because the protein has to be absorbed in a good way by your body plant based protein ki bioavailability kam hoti hai aur jo quantity protein ka aapko lena padega when you are looking into a plant based protein like lentils legumes nuts any of these things then the amount will be will have to be increased and you have to be careful that plant based proteins also have a lot of carbohydrates in it so okay it's fine for people who are running a lot who are doing a lot of workouts because thanks to the carbohydrates they are getting they are able to bring about their workouts and their running pace very well but not on a large large scale basis not in general society not in general people who are looking into building metabolic health and looking into losing weight so this is where uh, uh, protein is important the myths i have broken and the truth about protein is this checklist so do go through this checklist see if you are not protein deficient because protein deficiency ultimately will lead to muscle mass and it will lead to your becoming more your weight problems will increase and over the years the, when you reduce your exercise then your weight problems will increase even more including a lot of belly fat so please be careful 
मेक प्रोटीन द फलक्रम जो मेन इसेंशियल कॉम्पोनेट आपका डाइट में है प्रोटीन होना चाहिए बिकॉज प्रोटीन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ईच एंड एवरी सेल ऑफ आर बॉडी इज बेसिकली मेड अप ऑफ प्रोटीन राइट सो दीज आर द मिथ्स एंड द ट्रूथ अबाउट प्रोटीन द मिथ्स आई है ब्रोकन द ट्रूथ आई है टोल्ड यू Uh, for those who would wish to know more about it, feel free to book a professional appointment with me with a professional consultation over your diet planning. If you have any confusion about the amount of protein you should add on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you could uh, WhatsApp to me or you could email to me. I will be very happy to help you. Thank you so much. I do hope you have liked this video and all your doubts about protein have been completely solved. Thank you. Hello everybody. I am Dr. Pallavi Aga. I am a doctor and I am a lifestyle consultant. Today let us talk about some uh, one very very important topic which is which leads to good health, which leads to longevity, which leads to the miraculous recovery of many lifestyle diseases and that is intermittent fasting. इंटरमीडियंट फास्टिंग आज कल आप लोग खूब सुन रहे होंगे हर जगह इसके बारे में बात करी जा रही है एंड एवरीबडी इज कंफ्यूज कि इसका मतलब क्या होता है सम पीपल थिंक कि हमने हफ्ते में दो दिन इंटरमीडियंट फास्टिंग करी तो बहुत अच्छा है कुछ लोग सोचते हैं कि कितने दिन तक करनी है कुछ लोग उसका ये मतलब निकालते हैं कि हम बहुत देर तक भूखे रहेंगे इंटरमीडियंट फास्टिंग में तो हमारी हेल्थ को प्रॉब्लम होगी हमारी इम्यूनिटी ड्रॉप करेगी एंड मैं आज आपके सामने ये सारी मिथ्स ब्रेक करने के लिए आई हूँ इंटरमीडियंट फास्टिंग क्या होता है इंटरमीडियंट फास्टिंग मीन्स कि हमें अपनी बॉडी को डिटॉक्स करना है फ्रॉम ईटिंग ऑल द टाइम सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम 12 आवर्स गोइंग अप टू 16 आवर्स 18 आवर्स 20 आवर्स 22 टू आवर्स इवन लॉन्गर देन दैट वी हैव टू स्टे फास्टिंग सो आइडियली What I believe in my clinical practice, I have seen सबसे maximum benefit 16 to 18 hours of intermittent fasting में होता है and people can do it very very comfortably. All you have to do is actually skip your breakfast because breakfast means breaking the fast. So you can have your breakfast or you can break the fast at any time after 16 hours or 18 hours or even 20 hours. So this is what is intermittent fasting that you are giving your body detox from eating all the time. As I said, ये बारह घंटे से आप जो early beginners हैं, they can start from twelve hours and later on you can go up to sixteen hours, eighteen hours, twenty hours. Eighteen hours, sixteen to eighteen hours is when the real, the true magic starts. Now, what we can eat during intermittent fasting? What we can take during intermittent fasting? Nothing. But water, green tea, black coffee, apple cider vinegar, uh, salt, electrolytes. These are the things which are allowed during intermittent fasting. You can do your workouts. You can do your running. You can do anything you want to do during your intermittent fasting period. It will not do it harm your body at all. Intermittent fasting से कोई आपके body को harm नहीं आता है. Body बहुत strong हो जाती है. बॉडी की इम्यूनिटी बिल्डअप होती है योर डिजीज फाइटिंग केपेबिलिटी ऑफ योर बॉडी गोज अप एंड यू एंड अप बिकमिंग लीनर एंड स्ट्रॉगर एज वेल एज एज रिवर्सल एंड द स्किन बिकम्स रियली क्लियर सो देर आर न्यूमरस बेनिफिट्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स फॉर लाइफ स्टाइल डिजीजे लाइक डायबिटीज हाइपर टेंशन थाइरॉइड पीसीओडी इट्स लिटरली द मैजिक क्योर टू ऑल ऑफ दीज सो नाउ द थिंग टू रिमेंबर वेन वी ब्रेक द फास्ट we should have good quality protein some amount of fats and carbohydrates depending on your activity level suppose you are a runner or you go to the gym or you are a very active person you are a lean person you don't have to lose too much of weight then you can add either some amount of carbohydrates or some amount of fat depending on aapko aapki body kis cheez se better respond karti hai if you are looking into losing weight then definitely do not add your carbohydrates what is the good time to sometimes add carbohydrates it's always better to add some amount of complex carbohydrates in the form of lentils legumes even some root vegetables like sweet potato potato beetroot carrots any of these at night because usse kya hota hai raat ko because of adding of the complex carbohydrates 
some amount of neuroinhibitory hormones are produced and hence you have a better quality sleep ye purana jo myth tha jo purani cheeze manne ki maani gayi thi ki raat ko aapko ekdam carbohydrates nahi khane chahiye aur bahut hi light khana chahiye that's a complete myth eat early finish your dinner by 7 or 8 o'clock and then keep moving around in your house or maybe you could go for a walk or uh, just keep moving put in some activity but have a good amount of dinner the key to intermittent fasting is not a hypocaloric diet it is never about the quantity of calories it's always about the quality of the calories and the moment you go on an intermittent fasting program and you focus more on protein it gives you satiety so the calorie intake automatically drops but you are having good quality proteins right so uh, those who are uh, avid runners or avid gymers i would a word of caution for them uh, uh, that please be mindful about your fasting period if in case you feel that you are feeling really you know you are not uh, happy about putting in 16 or 18 hours of fast once you have done your long run or once you have done a heavy workout then you could break your fast even earlier so ultimately it's about how mindful we are towards eating and also about the fact that definitely we need to give our body detox time for it, the body to also build up its metabolic health to increase immunity and to bring about longevity so these are the few key points about intermittent fasting of course i am doing this on a professional basis for all those who would want me to build up a good intermittent fasting plan you could de- definitely come in contact with me you could uh, uh, directly whatsapp to me or you could email to me regarding all the details one wo- one thing is most important intermittent fasting is not a diet it's a lifestyle i have been following intermittent fasting for the past 6 years and it's given me magical benefits on my health i do all my workouts fasted and i eat very mindfully there are times when i do feel hungry after 14 hours it's not hunger it's the fact that now i understand my body and i know i need some food and if my body is perfectly fine if i'm just doing fine i can go up push myself up till 16 hours or 18 hours and it just works miracles thank you so much i hope you have liked this video